Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the channel. It is me, Nikki. We are here for another recap review of Sisters. This is season five, episode 20. And child, this is a mess. But before we get into that, hi, hello, welcome to the channel. If you're new here and you like the content, please like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on and share me with your people. If you're not new here and you don't like the content, still like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on and share me with your people because you know what? You may not like me, but somebody out there does. If you want to follow me on social media, you want to buy my merch, you want to buy my lip gloss, you want to buy an Amazon KDP book, you need a way to contact me for business, you would like to you know take a look at the amazon storefront the amazon wish list or you just want to you know donate something to the channel because it was on your heart and you felt it in your spirit then you can find everything in the description down below scrolling across the bottom of the screen and in the community tab with that being said let's get into this okay the baby you know last time sabrina came up there to um danny's apartment and it's all cute up in there and it's just like oh now i got to explain this man i got to explain this man so boom here we are. Opens up with Q revealing himself in many ways. Revealing who he is and revealing like the whole front nudity area, okay? Danny explains she knows Q from work while Sabrina explains that she knows Q because he's the one who robbed the bank, slept with Maurice, and then set them up to go to jail. And all Danny could think about right now is, I can't believe me and Maurice had the same dude. And it's just like, so it's not running through your head that she slept with the ops. Okay. Danny eventually puts two and two together that Logan, the cop that, you know, she went on a date with, got Q the job at the airport. Now, I don't know if he was trying to have, you know, Q look like an upstanding citizen, look in on Danny or whatever it was, but he got Q the job at the airport. So she kicks Q out of her apartment but before she do that she tell him your balls need some conditioner i was like well how you know why his i mean you know you got full frontal so maybe that's why you know or something like that sabrina questions why danny is doing this and you know danny has to remind her that the cycle she's in is just like oh no Sabrina questions why Danny is doing this. And then Sabrina also reminds Danny that, you know, the cycle you're going through, it's just like the cycle you went through in college. And it's just like, get it together because you're no longer a college student. You're a grown adult woman with bills and a career. Maybe it's not the career you want to be in, but you got to grow up. Eventually, you're going to have to grow up and realize that you can't keep doing this where you're going to disregard or throw away something that could be really good for you or someone that could be really good for you because you want to stay in the same situation you are or you too scared to love, grow, and move on. Like, no, 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 ma'am. You got to grow up now. Get your life in order. Figure it the out. I don't know. Danny just seems like... Danny, to me, it makes me feel like if she could, she would just let her life go up in flames if it meant it didn't have to be hard. If it meant that anything she had on going on in life wasn't hard. She would let her life... Go up in flames. We got we gonna move on because Gary ugh, and Robin, they going head to head, baby. So it's finally the day of the showdown between Gary and Robin. Robin reveals uh to Andy that his lender wants interest on you know the money he gave him. Gary called the lender and offered the lender a better offer if he rescinded the like rescinded Robin's loan. Robin in turn asked her if she's working with Gary. After explaining her reasoning to Robin, no, after explaining her reasoning for helping Robin, she lets Robin know, you on your own. Later, Gary and Hayden get just a little bit cocky as they head into the meeting with Robin. And I'm just like, Gary, you are pathetic. I'm just going to go back before the whole they get cocky heading into this meeting. I feel like ultimately that Gary is such a pathetic little imbecile. You are pathetic. That woman don't want to be with you. You have caused nothing but stress and strife and heartache and pains in her life. But because you can't let go and you are so obsessed with her, you are willing to go after any and everyone and ruin their lives if it meant that it could be the two of you. And it's just like, even then, if it was just the two of you, she still wouldn't be happy and she still wouldn't want to be with you because ultimately you are a psycho. You're a pathetic psycho, but you're a psycho nonetheless. But we get back to Hayden ugh, and Gary. Ugh. They're getting cocky as they head into this meeting with Robin. Gary informs Robin that the partners in the firm decided to add an additional $10 million to the call, which means Robin has to raise another three. And it's just like, oh, my God, you will you are willing to bankrupt yourself and Hayden if it meant getting Robin out of Andy's life when in reality, Robin is no longer in Andy's life after he called her all types of hoes. She said, you can go. 
you're the only one in her life that she's really trying to get rid of as of now, but you can't see that because you was being a psycho, stalking, watching her from your office, get her back blown out up against the window and the tables and the chairs and the couches and all that stuff. Sitting up here trying to ruin somebody's life because a woman don't want you. Listen, if somebody don't want you, that's okay. Somebody out there, somebody else in the world will want you. If this one person don't want you, it is okay to move on, let go, let God, and find somebody who does. It is okay. Let go. There's somebody out there who's going to love you and give you the same energy that you want that you be giving to other people. It is okay to let go. If I was Robin, it would be a good time to call Madam because mm-mm. Mm -mm. Maurice is getting out of jail Calvin comes over and Sabrina lets him know That Bayo gave her the money to get Maurice out of jail After after Sabrina says she will Continue seeing Bayo, Calvin questions Whether Bayo tried to buy her back And after a little bit of After the build up of their relationship And hence that they've been rekindling their romance Calvin is a little Disappointed because he thought they was Building back up, they was about to be in a relationship They was cool, they was gonna be cuddled up On the couch being as boring as all Get out and it's just like, well, she's seeing him because he was able to help her in a situation. You're not helpful. And she kind of liked that. But I mean, let go of her. She, I, At the end of the day, Sabrina is never going to be able to, you know, be okay with you. <sighs> wearing the shirt you wear, wearing the underwear you wear, being sexually adventurous. She's never going to be okay with that. So you're just going to have to move on. Especially when she has friends in her ear harping on those things. They call Maurice, who is obviously happy, but he gets a little extra. Before the scene ends, he chokes himself with the telephone cord, takes the hand of the inmate next to him, and encourages him to choke him. I mean, it's definitely improvised, but I'm like, why are you choking yourself? Why are you choking yourself? And, you know, Maurice's reaction to him getting out of jail is very unrealistic. It's underwhelming. He not thankful. He just ugh, I don't I don't know. Tamara might be going rogue, okay? She might be going rogue. At the office, Fatima fills in Andy on the latest Zach news while Andy fills Fatima in on the latest with Karen. Fatima calls Zach and encourages him to apologize to Karen for the run-in at the restaurant. But it's just like chow. Let's see if that happens. Fatima learns Hayden has Tamara file uh filling out applications for a secretary at the law firm. Fatima tells her she can't work at the firm, but she isn't about to listen to Fatima. She wants a job and Hayden's money. And I was like, well, you said you want the best gold digging batch that money could find or Madam could find. And she found her. She wanted a job and his money. Sabrina shows up to the office and fills in Andy on what Danny and Q had going on sleeping together. So they arranged for the girls to go visit Danny after work. Andy questions Sabrina on how she was able to get Bayo to give her the money to help Maurice and it's just like child don't worry about that she got the money shut up I mean hopefully you ain't have to give up nothing in my opinion miss girl and then Aaron comes to the salon to bring Karen lunch he come off a little too strong she don't like that and she's not happy about that and it's just like well I thought that's what you wanted for him but then again the reason he's coming off way too strong is because you felt like you should warn him not to get his behind whooped again so he felt like he got to be extra manly man he got to be extra with it he got to be pumping iron and you know flexing his muscles and doing the little peck dance that's how he feeling at this point because basically you told him he weak and he got his ex beat so you know be careful child karen in her relationships is a mess karen is uncomfortable and annoyed with aaron when he brings her lunch at the salon like I said before we thought they was in a great place but I feel like he's trying to put on for her because she basically called him weak and she's not feeling it at this point she's not she's not so plot twist <laughs> to close out the episode we get a plot twist Joey Fatima's baby daddy shows up at Zach's house um and it's just like, Fatima got a baby daddy? Fatima got kids? What? Huh? What's going on? That We did see that coming. It was a good episode. Trying to figure out how Robin going to get the money to secure the funding 
for the company. Is he going to keep the company or is he going to lose it? Trying to figure out why Maurice is, you know, not super, super duper happy about him getting up out of jail. I thought you didn't want to be there. Danny, stop sleeping with men you don't know. Because it could be the ops. Karen, just go away. Hayden, go away. Tamara, Tamara, whatever your name is, get it together. You being a bad gold digger, okay? You being a bad gold digger. I mean, truthfully, you being good because you got a job and you won't get his money. But no, don't do that. Don't do that. Stop doing that. And, you know, Karen still don't like you. Hayden. Hayden. Still don't like you. And where did Fatima get a baby daddy from? I'm so confused. It's very confusing. Lord. And, you know, Sabrina, Bayo, Calvin, all y'all born. I feel like Sabrina may be just a little bit. She may be a lesbian, but she don't want to admit it. And ain't no wrong with being a lesbian. Just, you know, going over there. I feel like she would have more chemistry with women than she does these men. And with that being said, that was it. That was all I had. I'm going to give y'all for a recap review for Sisters because it was a good episode, but it wasn't really much. I'm still trying to figure out where this baby daddy came from and where's this child. Yeah. Well, that being said, I will see y'all later. Um, Everything you want to find on how to contact me for business, following me on social media, merch, lip gloss, Amazon KDP, Amazon storefront, Amazon wishlist, and the way to donate to the channel can be found in the description box down below, scrolling across the bottom of the screen and in the community tab. And whether you like the content or not, still like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and share me with your people. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.